you know, we talk strategies and technicals and all those things, but a lot of what I've heard more in principles more is kind of, it's belief, 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 belief. So when you see these things and your beliefs are strong and whether they're right or wrong, they're just, you know, that comes with experience, but your beliefs are strong. These, no. these become simpler decisions for you. Uh, yeah, because they are now part of my identity and belief system. However, that just clicked for me. I mean, however, however, let me let me please explain something. You will know my belief systems are based on free kind of processes. I don't know. They may be more than three, but they're not more than five. Okay. So give you an example. Man, this lesson is so powerful. Hey. Listen. Yeah. I will buy this for what reason? I believe it's it, greater it's love. Never, never, uh, Overextended the uh, previous week. Thank you. One belief. I would buy this for what reason? Overextended. Over over no, yeah. Uh, over overextended, not into a wick projection, but I believe that it because it's overextended, there's a high chance it can pull back at this point. Second belief. I will only take a candle that is pushing into its own wick if it does what? Spikes it twice. Hits it twice. Has it done it here? Yes. Third belief. Why would I take the cell? This because is a combination. Previous week. <clears throat> right. So this kind of is combined here. Previous wick, failing to push up. In theory, the belief is price should go bullish because it hasn't extended, correct? Mm. However, into major wick rejection area, if it's failing to push up and it flips bearish and it breaks this low, in theory, it should do what? Continue bearish. Four belief systems. If I take the buy off of this area here, when it creates the bottom wick, even though this closed bearish and flip bullish, what is the belief about this idea? You bullish. Strong wick uh, rejection area. No, no, no. Price is failing to break the structural low, and if it doesn't go down, it must do what? Go up. Fourth no. belief system combined with, we'll keep it at five, sorry, uh, combined with, if it doesn't go up, it must go down. Five belief systems I have. Now, what am I trying to add to my belief systems that I'm told you I'm going to start next week? Is this candle bearish? Yes. If yeah. this is not going bullish and we have a depletion in this bearish sentiment and price closes bearish, I believe the next candle will be bearish. And if I enter when the candle is moving bearish, then technically it should continue bearish. Is that reasonable to say in this instance? Yeah. Yes. So that would be a sixth belief system that I haven't adopted strongly yet, but I would like to. The final belief system that I won't be working on anytime soon is the current candle is bearish. Price is coming back into an area where price has rejected before and gone down. If it comes back there again, I will sell it. For the fact that the candle is bearish, price likes equal what? Levels. Equal levels. levels. Is that an equal level? Technically, price should go down. That's a seven beliefs system that I haven't yet adopted yet. But the other five are complete belief systems, but they are not inconsistent. So every time there is a setup, I think I've just ironed out absolutely everything for you guys. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I think that has just ironed out absolutely everything. And remember I said to you, it's very hard to teach this. Because how do you get someone to believe in your belief system without it being systematic? Mm. But it was easy to do it now with you guys because I've been working with you for obviously so long and we've gone over the same shit in different ways. Now we've just made it very clear. But I have adopted five belief systems and two, two new ones that I want to work on. Now, my belief system isn't this is a major wick rejection area so I can sell it any time. My belief system is price is extended into a major wick rejection area 
If it doesn't break, it must go down. So this is where I must sell every single time. My belief system is that this is a majorly extended candle into nowhere. So I must wait for price to respect it. And then I can sell it from here. If it doesn't respect it from here, then I cannot resell it. Because if it if I did sell it, it should have gone down. It hasn't. So the bearish sentiment is depleting, meaning that the green candle technically should continue to push bullish. If I bought it from here, here's the same belief system. I mean, it's slightly different because we're in a wick rejection, but let's forget that it's here. It should go up. I haven't. It's coming down. I cannot re-enter the break back in. I can take the extended extension of the previous of the current candle because even though there's nothing to the left because i believe this is where it would go up because extended candles retrace it it didn't and i would have been stopped out but it still continues with the theme it still can, is a continuation of my belief system that if it creates a bottom wick its own bottom wick and it respects its own bottom wick then this should be the time to buy so i took a stab i lost but I'm still continuing. There's still a continuation of my belief system and it went up. If I adopted my seventh belief system, that price likes equal highs and the candle is red, technically this is sellable. And if I adopt my, my sixth belief system that the candle is bearish and it should continue bearish, then this is an example of where I could have sold as well. Now you just have to iron out what your belief systems are about your trading process. And then once you've got them, they will be derived from your experiences about the decisions that you make that serve you or don't serve you. So if you don't feel good, it cannot be something you hold on to. So this could be my number one belief system, price likes equal body highs, and I adopt it because it works for me. But if you adopt it, it doesn't work for you. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's a technical pot based on technicals. Does this make sense? J okay, let me give you a better example. I could question Ryan as to why Ryan did not enter this trade immediately when it came to this quick rejection area, because two weeks ago or three weeks ago, we spoke about him hitting the trigger when it gets there. Why didn't you hit it? Why did you wait for this? What has reshaped that belief system? Do you understand? Is it because now every time you've hit it, it stops you out. So now you're waiting for better confirmation. And that's not what you want to do. You don't want to chop and change. Do you understand? You don't want to chop and change. Now, I do have one final belief system that I do trade, but I don't trade it live. And I don't talk about it much. No, this is going to, I don't want to confuse you. Forget it. Okay. But they're my five core belief systems. Okay, they're my five core belief systems and two that I would like to adopt in the future if I can. I don't know if I, it's hard to adopt a belief system that you really believe in. It takes practice, but you just have to do it. You're on this session because you want clarity, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You may believe in yourself about a tr as being a successful trader in the future, but you still need clarity so you can build a stronger belief system about how you execute. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. What did I say about five, six, seven, eight weeks ago? I'm like, Ali, last week you was just smashing it. You were so confident, like everything was going for you. And then this week you're losing confidence. What happened? Do you remember I said that? Yeah. That's all I want to yeah. see. That's all I want to see in you guys. You just have 100% confidence and belief in what it is that you're doing. <laughs> Not in yourself. I know that part. Every trader says, I believe in myself. Who wouldn't? What's the point in living if you don't believe in yourself? The point is, Find certainty in the setups you're going to take and take them. And then that's where the saying comes, don't be too rigid, don't do this, don't do that. Just be a little bit more flexible. That's where it comes from. Well, the idea to sell this didn't stem from this one minute candle. It stemmed from the fact that price is coming into this major high and this is an extended candle. And if it doesn't continue up, it must go down. Why didn't you sell there? Do you understand where this is deriving from? Now, you cannot build a strong belief system if you do dumb shit. Because mm. shit will smear clarity. Do you understand? You will get hurt and burnt. And if you convince yourself otherwise, you won't. If you convince yourself otherwise whilst doing dumb shit, you won't feel good. 
And if you don't feel good, it means you are not confident because you don't have a strong enough belief system about your process. That's a good way to gauge it. Now, this sounds contradictory. X can be a part of your belief system, like Goldilocks on yesterday, and you still don't take it. But that will happen often. Because some days you will be shit hot and some days you just won't be shit hot. If you could be shit hot every single time, if I could be shit hot, shit hot every single time I believe in what I believe in, shit would look different over here. Okay. But that is the battle you're going to have to face. The fact that you know you should have done something that you didn't do that was part of your belief system and you missed the opportunity for you to turn around and say, who cares? See you tomorrow. The minute you allow it to affect you, you start to lose faith. And that you don't want to do.